is up, you guys? This was like a little bit of a weird background. Uh, this is the only place I have a good lighting. Like, all the lights are on in my room and like, this is our main light. But for some reason, if I'm like directly, if I had the camera facing directly with this light, it gets yellow and doesn't pick up the eyeshadows that I'm playing very good. The struggle when you don't have a ring light. <laughs> but anyways, I thought today we would use the Zodiac palette and use the shade The Aries. Just this bright orange color as our main focal point. So like all over the lid. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> we might dip into the Dream Street palette as well. We'll see, but um, I'm nervous. <laughs> Because I have used a look using it like on the outer corners and like in the crease but not as like all over the lid. I do think it will bring the green out in my eyes so we're going to get started. I picked this up yesterday. This is the L'Oreal Brow Style Shape and Fill. Um, and it reminded me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer which I love. I'm in dark brown. This I picked up in Brunette because the darkest brown that they had looked too dark and I was like, this would probably be good. <laughs> Here's me all the time! We're back. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna do this on the, this is my left side, but for you it might be your right. And then this on the right, for you might be the left. Um, because I literally have a tiny bit left, so I want to see, because this one is obviously cheaper than this, but I love this and haven't found a dupe for it yet. Staring at the stars in the back of my car, the back of my car. Huh. Trying to figure out just who we are moments on our phones taking pictures call it home picking words out of our favorite songs our favorite okay. with the honest Ali one I can get them pretty identical like this don't look that good because it definitely looks like this one's more fully than that whatever we're gonna roll with it but it's not bad. I will use it until I repurchase another one of these, but I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm leaning more towards this one to be honest. So, just saying. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with the Lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys do your eyes first or if you do your face first. I always do my eyes first be oh. be um, well actually my eyebrows first and then my eyes because I feel like if I have any fallout and then it's just easier to clean up than have to go back down. Let me know in the comments down below. So, I'm just gonna do like a point and type of thing. I'll have like the shades on the screen so you guys can see. But just so this video isn't 3 billion years long. But real quick, I'm just gonna set that down with my ColourPop No Filters Press Powder in Light. I don't know why my ear is so itchy. I have to do this kind of quick. So, we should move on. Okay, but pretty much we're gonna stay with with like these four colors for the most part. We might dip into the Dream Street palette. Okay, let's jump right into it. So 
All the time when I'm not filming, people call me, text me, and I'm like, really? I wasn't doing anything before, but the moment I start to film, that's it.
some reason I changed the card and it keeps it like just stops filming so we're gonna film the rest on the phone and I'm just gonna I really hope we're in frame but all I did was just I put I think I got I put the wing eyeliner and then I just put the L'Oreal Lash Paradise primer and the ColourPop BFF mascara in black on black and that is it now I'm starting the face and I'm just going in with my photo finish primerizer. I use the Glam Glow moisturizer, which I uh, will answer the picture. But, um, and it gives like a nice illuminating. So that's why I'm not going in with my cover effects one. Usually I do, but today I'm not going to because I already have a pretty nice glow to the skin because of the moisturizer. Okay. Now for foundation, I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one is in a light. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light light sand and my ready set gorgeous and concealer and fair this one's from covergirl and i like to mix the both of them so i first go in with this i'm going in with my no filter setting powder this is the pressed one in light that we used before in our eyes. Bronzer, I'm taking if I can get it out. My ColourPop bronzer in press this is the pressed brown bronzer in private party. And I think I'm going to use my Real Techniques 100 brush. I never use this brush. But I think it's a nice brush to use for contouring. Blush. I'm taking the ColourPop blush in I Need Space. This is the collaboration with um, Kathleen Lights and I love it. I want to get more of the blushes but I need to get I need to save some money. <laughs> Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in On the Cusp. But this is also with Kathleen Lux, part of the Zodiac collection she did. Love. So now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop, what ColourPop pen? Oh. Today. My ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. Right? Yeah. And try my best to line my lips. I suck at it. Uh, now that my lips are calm down from the allergic reaction I had. <laughs> Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Multipurpose Lip Primer and just put that usually I put that on before the line but I forgot so I'm taking the Ultra 
ColourPop Ultra Bolted Lip in Zumba. Pop that on. <laughs> setting spray just to melt everything into the skin what the okay got in the mouth anyways that completes this makeup look if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below of future videos you guys want to see um i'll probably do a look using the Aries as the focal point um, next time. But since I forgot since I was going out to, to Walmart, um, probably just, you know, go with something a little bit more wearable. <laughs> well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I said that already. Okay. Is that everything, Lynn? Peace out.